what's up guys in this episode i'm gonna share how i stick anything on my t-shirts using a plugin called lockdown from a script it is a paid plugin but good news is this plugin is free until early june so download now and explore this plugin is not only to track your shirts or jacket or clothes but you can get more creative like these videos This plugin is getting better and more accurate since it is developing by the time and now I'm using Lockdown 1.4 Now, let's jump to the tutorial First, import your footage and make new composition The composition and the footage format must be the same If you shot 25 FPS, the composition must add 25 FPS too Then, trim your video the part you want to stick the logo on it then, search Lockdown in Effect tab, then drag it to your footage. Now, go to the Effect Controls and follow the steps. The first step is Pre-Compose. Please remember to keep your video resolution display to full, because the plugin works by pixel on your display monitor in After Effects. There is optional tracking filter here, just like its name, it is optional. If you think your footage doesn't have enough information for tracking points to follow, this filter gives you more contrast and makes the tracker work better since it is working with your pixels in your display tab. But for now, we can disable it. Now, make a tracking points by pressing Ctrl and make a shape. You can also create the tracking points manually one by one by pressing Ctrl plus left click you will see some points there and remember to keep your video display resolution to full now you can turn on back the filter because we want to track those points go to step 4 press to track points this might take a while like 2 minutes sometimes you will see this just press ok I speed up the video and you can always see the progress in effect controls Now step 5, Thick Interpolate Partial Tracks Then, click Auto Triangulate Mesh And click Apply Mesh on this frame Then, check on RAM Preview If you see something jello or not look like your real shirt moving It means the tracking fails to process perfectly I will explain it later in the end of the video But now, we jump to last step Press lockdown and don't press anything until you see the pop-up notification like this. Open this brown bar which is pre-composed layer. Drag your logo to After Effects. Set the scale and position into the lockdown area. Change the mode from normal to overlay or soft light or multiply. Choose one of these three which fit the best for your video. Here, I'm using overlay. Now, there is a small problem, a visible thin border. It can be white or black, from my experience. I don't know if it is only happened to me because in other tutorials, they don't have this problem. Let's fix this by doing simple masking. Open your main pre-compose, duplicate this layer and name it cover. Place it above everything. Set opposite to 50%, then make a mask around it and tick inverted in masking properties. Click mask pad stopwatch, then start masking. Turn back the opacity from 50% to 100%, then it is done. In my case, it is working pretty well, but in my other cases, it doesn't work properly. So here, I'm giving you two solutions. The first solution is to take your video and please follow these four steps. First step, you have to change your camera setting to manual focus. Since autofocus can change its focus in the middle of the video and make the video blurry, 
and it is very bad for tracking points. Second step, set your camera to have higher shutter speed than normal motion blur. Normal motion blur is when you shot a video with shutter speed value double the FPS value. So if you shot in 25 FPS, the shutter speed should be 50 to get normal motion blur. Now, change it to 80 or 100 to get sharper video. By doing that, you will get sharper images, sharper video, which is better for tracking. Step 3. If you wear a very plain shirt, just change your shirts or clothes to something that has more textures. By doing that, the tracking process will be easier to identify which points they want to track. Last step, don't move too fast. By moving too fast, you create more motion blur to your video and it is very bad for tracking process. Besides, I already said that this plugin is developing by the time. This plugin is already doing great, but I believe it can do more in the future. Like for now, it is already 70% accurate, but I believe in the future it can be 100% accurate. Second solution which I don't recommend is by externalize those points and create keyframes manually or import tracking points from other method like 2D tracking from After Effects or Mocha Track. If you are interested in this step tutorial in managing tracking points by keyframe or importing tracking points from other tracking points method, you can watch it in his video I attached in the description. But why I don't recommend this is because once you make a single mistake, it is very, very hard to recover unless you are a very professional and very careful editor. In short, I don't want you to spend countless hours and still get a bad result. If you enjoy this content and like my content and for more visual effects or short tutorial about video editing and stuff, please consider subscribe, like and share and comment. And until next time.